Hi everyone, it's me Rosie and my daughter Daenerys. <coughs> oh, I hem, I hem. Okay, so on this video, we will talk about uh, for following up for your case, what you need to do um, if you want to follow up your case, you have two options. First, you can do email, then second, you can call them. Okay, um, if you want to send an email just send it to iv manila replies at state.gov i repeat iv manila replace <laughs> i replace replies at state.gov and on your subline you have to indicate your email and then the visa applicant name then the first and then the middle name and then of course you have to indicate your case number or USCIS receipt number visa, categ visa category and priority date so they can easily check what is the purpose of your email okay and then also um the mail size should be not be more than 15 kilobytes okay and then do not submit documents or attachment with your messages because um their system is unable to receive uh with attachment so only words okay and then do not send emails that uh has a duplicate let's say you send an email today and then after an hour you will send again an email and then after an hour you send an email don't do that just send one email and then wait for their response because they will respond like a day after or two days after you send your email okay and then uh if you want to call the u.s embassy manila you can call for any inquiries or specific inquiries you can call 976-8500 or 976-8501 or 976-8500 you can use that contact number to call the U.S. Embassy Manila, okay? So if you have questions, clarifications, please feel free to comment on my video and please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.